What is good, Horror Horror? This is your boy, Horror Gamer, with special guest, Cassie, here with another video for you. And in this video, as you can tell by the title of this video, this is another, is it worth the hate? And boy, we have one today. So, this request comes from Skaven Matt, and we're going to be doing... We're going to be tackling one today, but before I get into it, just know that your boy Hard Gamers is it worth the hate. I have spoilers in them all day, every day. If you haven't seen the movie, go check it out. Come back. Let me know in the comment section what you think, whether you enjoyed the movie, whether you hated the movie, whether you agree with me, whether you disagree with me. So, with all that being said, anything beyond this point is on you. So, as you can also tell by the title... We are jumping into Virus. So, is Virus, 1998, Jamie Lee Curtis, Donald Sutherland, is it worth the hate? I'm going to, again, this one's a tough one for me only because of Jamie Lee Curtis, okay? But, if I have to say it, is Virus 1998 worth the hate? Yes. This movie, for me, is a slow burn, and let me tell you why. For one, your boy Horror Gamer is not a big fan of sci-fi horror anyway. Like, I do like the Alien movies and the Predator movies, but after that, like, this eh, didn't do it for me. Now... Was the acting bad? No, I just didn't like the Baldwin guy. Like, anytime he was on the screen, I'm not a big fan of the Baldwins. Alec Baldwin's okay, but everybody else after that, it's kind of like, in my opinion, they're chasing their brother's coattails and the fact that they're not as talented as their brother, but they're trying. And it's just, it's not for me. So anyway, basically this movie's about this virus that's like an alien virus that basically turns you into like, it almost seems like a cybernetic kind of like being you know what i mean it's like it's weird the, the, that's the only way i can really explain it is really weird but it's it's the fact that it just for me it just didn't do nothing for me like you know it, jamie lee curtis in this movie also solidifies why she's the scream queen she did so well in this movie and the way Donald Sutherland played his character, it almost reminded me of John Voight in um, Anaconda, how he was kind of off the wall and stuff like that. But as a whole, for me, the movie just didn't do it. You know, the makeup effects were okay. The story was meh. But the fact of the matter is you get all these people together, you get this you get this almost all-star cast ensemble to make a horror film and you kind of just you know what i mean like that's how it felt for me like it just didn't it missed it missed in so many ways for me like i don't know like it just didn't feel authentic enough for me it just it just like i felt like even though they were well well-known actors and they were really good actors and they all had like a history and horror like some of the some of the um some of the performances just felt forced you know what i'm saying um some of it was over the top uh, like i said with the bald one dude like i forget his fucking name but he just every time he was on the screen it's just like nah. But like I said, don't get me wrong, Jamie Lee Curtis killed it in it. And like I said, Donald Sutherland's like performance in it, like I said, it was it was like kind of over the top like uh, John Voight was in Anaconda, and I really enjoyed that. Now, don't get me wrong, even though, in my opinion, it's worth the hate, it still had its moments for me where it was good, like it was it was fun to watch. Like as like like the, like I said with the makeup effects, the makeup effects weren't so bad. Like with the like the one guy who had like the red eye and you could just see the flesh mixing in with metal and stuff that was cool like the makeup effects were cool you know it's just for me unfortunately your boy horror gamer isn't really 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 big into sci-fi horror 
So, while it may have, like, like, like some people may love sci-fi horror and that's, like, the only thing they watch, it just, it takes a bit for your boy horror gamer to get into something like that. For me, unfortunately, I have to say, it took me, like, three tries to get through this movie because I just didn't feel, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't feel the connection with this movie like some people do. Um, I know, like, critics just... But, like, I just, I don't know. There was just something about it that it took me a couple tries to get into. And I, I finally got through it, you know, because I wanted to do this video. But it's just, for me, it was hard to get through. It, like I said, there were scenes that had some redeeming qualities in it. But there was also, like, for me, unfortunately, the bad outweighed the good in this. Like, even though Jamie Lee Curtis was in it and she did her thing. And, you know, Jamie Lee Curtis is, like, the goddess in horror and then, like I said, Donald Sutherland, he killed his performance. It was just, you know, that Baldwin dude, he was meh. And it was just, for me, the story was meh, you know. Um, for for the time frame it had, like in the 1998 era, you know, early 2000s, like the visuals were good. They weren't, there was no problem with the visuals. It was just for me, in my opinion, the story was lacking, you know. It takes a little more than, unfortunately, I hate to say this, but it takes a little more than Jamie Lee Curtis and Donald Sutherland to save this movie. It needed a, it needed a few more things, in my opinion. The makeup effects, though, were amazing. You know, they were good. Like I said, when the flesh mixed with like the metal, it, it just looked cool. You know what I'm saying? That that part looked cool. That was a redeeming quality for me. But all in all, like from beginning to end like i said it took me three tries to get through it and it just never really gripped me like certain other movies did so with all that being said horror horror final verdict is virus 1998 worth the hate absolutely i just like i said took when it takes you three times to try to get through a movie there's a problem so but all right, Scaven Matt, I hope you enjoyed this. This one's for you, buddy. Uh, I hope this is what you're looking for. Um, I'm sorry if if I if you liked it and I didn't. It was just one of them movies, man. I'm sorry, I just couldn't get into. But with all that being said, Horror Horde, I love you guys. Thank you. Don't forget, October is Horror Horde Appreciation Month. Um, get in your uh, requests even if it takes me past october to get them all every request that comes in in october will get done um also don't forget that the 1000 subscriber challenge and giveaway we have until november 12th and then on november 13th we're going to be doing a live giveaway so be prepared for that um you know go back into my old videos and look at the rules and all the regulations or whatever and also, the only way you can get in on this is if you're a subscriber. So, don't forget, if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. Along with that dingly ding ding button. That way, every time your boy Horror Gamer throws up one of these videos, you're always in the know. And with all that being said, Horror Horror, I love you guys. Thank you. And until next time, this is your boy Horror Gamer saying, don't fear the darkness. Embrace it.